This video explains how to save and load a data frame in the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create a data frame, as you can see in lines two to three of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the R Studio console by running line four of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that our data frame contains five rows and the two columns x1 and x2. Now, if we want to save this data frame on our computer, then we also have to set the working directory in which we want to save our data frame. And we can do that by applying the set wd function, as you can see in line six of the code. And within this function, we need to specify the path in which we want to store our data frame. And in this case, I have a folder on my desktop, which is called my folder. And if you open this folder, you can see that currently the folder is empty. Now, if we run the save function, as you can see in line eight of the code, we can store our data frame in the folder. And within the save function, we need to specify the name of our data frame. And then we also need to specify the name of the file that should contain our data frame. So in this case, I will call my file mydataframe.rda. So after running line eight of the code, you can see that our folder contains a new RDA object. And this object contains our data frame. So now let's assume that we start a new session and our global environment is empty. Then we could load our data frame using the load function to our current RStudio session. And within the load function, we once again need to specify the file argument. And the file argument needs to be equal to the data frame file that we want to load. So after running line 10 of the code, you can see that our data frame is appearing at the top right and that it was loaded back to our RStudio session. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.